Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we're going to see how to remove hash NE in Excel. The hash NE is an error that occurs when Excel cannot find a value that it is looking for. So this happens uh, very commonly when you are trying to copy a formula that refers to a cell that is constant, but you have not made the cell reference constant in the formula. So when you copy it down and Excel goes and looks for the value from that cell, it cannot find it and returns the hash any uh, error. So in cases like this, of course, there is an error. So it, uh, you are alerted to the fact that there's something wrong with the formula and you need to go and change it. But there are other cases when the hash any error occurs, um, but there is no error. For example, when you're using the VLOOKUP function, if the function cannot find a match, for uh, the value that it's been given, then it returns a hash NE uh, error. So this is not really an error, it just indicates that uh, there is no matching value. So let's look at that uh, with this with an example. Here I have a list of numbers and names, and for each, uh, in another sample that I've taken, for each number, I want to find the corresponding name. So for this, I've used the VLOOKUP uh, function, where I'm looking for the number, in this table and then asking VLOOKUP to return the name associated with that number. Now in this case, there are only uh, 200 uh, names here in this list. The last name in this list is 200. So VLOOKUP could not find a value associated with 225. So it has returned a hash any. Now this, uh, when you look at the data, it looks like it's wrong. So I would prefer this to be handled so that it does not look like it is wrong. We can do this by using the if error function. So I'll modify this uh, VLOOKUP fun uh, formula by pressing F2 to edit the cell. And then I'll type if error. So what this function does is it evaluates a condition or a formula and uh, it will return the uh, value specified by you if you if the uh, condition evaluates to false, meaning that if there's an error. So here we're saying if this VLOOKUP uh, function returns an error, I want it to say none. And I specify uh, that, that within code so that we know it's uh, text and say enter. And now you can see that it, this is turned to none. I can then just copy this formula down by dragging the fill handle so that all the uh, errors are replaced with none. So this is more meaningful because now I know that VLOOKUP couldn't find the value and that is why it says uh, none. Whereas for those cases where the uh, function does not return an error, meaning it is tr a true condition, the actual value is displayed. This is how to remove hash NA in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.